Hello, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Spot Report for this week. Yael Eckstein is the daughter of Rabbi Yechiel Eckstein, who's the founder and president of the International Fellowship of Christians and Jews. They've done a wonderful work uh, over the years of bringing Christians and Jews together, bringing Christians in support of Israel and the Jewish people. Recently, she made a trip to the United States, and I want to read uh, just some excerpts of uh, her covering of that uh, following her trip to, to the United States. She says this, In America, the fact that Israel has Christian friends is a given. For many, the identities of being Christian and pro-Israel are intertwined. Yet when the people of Israel turn on the news and read the papers, that voice of solidarity is rarely heard. Rather, it is the harshly critical voice of the UN, the anti-Semitism of our Middle Eastern neighbors, and the indifference of the EU that fills the political atmosphere and our psyche. Many of my Christian friends ask me, how can I get my voice heard and let the Jewish people know that I love them? She goes on, most Israelis know that Jews stand with them in solidarity and support, but for some, the fact that millions of Christians love the people of Israel comes as, uh, came as a shocking and uplifting surprise. On my six-week trip, trip in America, I traveled to eight states. I held reception uh, for hundreds of people, met privately with dozens of Christian uh, leading Christians as was, and was interviewed on numerous influential radio stations. What I saw is that the love that Christians have for Israel is real. And the friendship that has been created and fostered between Christians and Jews is not only historic, but it's prophetic. It's prophetic. She closes, This is the message of hope that I feel privileged to bring back to my people as I return to Israel. There might be many that yearn for our destruction, but Israel's Christian friends are the candle in the darkness, and this flame cannot be extinguished. Now, there are many Christian Zionists who have known this for years. And uh, <clears throat> there are more and more Jews, obviously, Israelis, who are recognizing this. That the best friends that they have on planet Earth are Christian, Christian Zionists. Uh, we are bound together. Uh, we're in lockstep. And this will be increasingly true, not only now, but in the future. Uh, because the opposition that we face, Christians and Jews, is going to increase. Matter of fact, the Apostle John says in John chapter 16, <clears throat> uh, verse 2, he says, A time is coming, a time is coming when anyone who kills you, and he's speaking of his disciples, those who follow him, time is coming when anyone who kills you will think he's doing service for God. This will do, uh, they will do such things because they have not known the Father or me. I have told you this so that when the time comes, you will remember that I warned you. That's what we can expect. We'll be together. Ultimately, we will be rescued by our Messiah, Jesus, at his powerful and glorious return. But in the meantime, once again, John says in Revelation chapter 14, verse 12, he says this, this calls for patient endurance and faithfulness on the part of the saints who obey God's commandments and remain faithful to Jesus. Patient endurance and faithfulness. That's God's call. And wherever God calls, whenever he calls, he empowers by his grace to fulfill his call. So next week, Od Ki Yavo Shilo, or until Messiah comes, Yavarecha Yahweh, God bless you, God bless yours.